Love those four day work weeks, Alex. What do you think? Uh, it sounds nice, <laughs> right? Four days? Well, I'd get used to that. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, happy Sunday to you. Happy August 2nd. You know what? We are waking up to a quite a different scene in Santa Monica this morning from what we felt or saw, I should say, yesterday. Seeing some low clouds and fog out there it is impacting visibility all the way down uh, to the Orange County coast. That is where we do have a dense fog advisory in place until 8 o'clock this morning. So, some of your main weather headlines and the big weather storm as we head into Sunday and into tomorrow will be the heat continuing today. Also elevated to near critical fire danger inland. So it's not just going to be hot. It's going to be gusty as we head into this afternoon and we will have very low relative humidity. So it is going to be dry. But here is the good news is we have cooling headed our way as we head into this upcoming week, especially by Wednesday into Thursday. I think Thursday is going to be the coolest day we have here on the extended forecast. So we'll talk those details in just a moment. But out the door this morning, temperatures in the 50s and 60s. It's going to be another hot day inland, though, so suck, soak up the uh, cooler temperatures this morning, the more mild temperatures. Mid 60s in Santa Ana this morning as we head to the Inland Empire. Cabazon waking up to temperatures in the upper 70s, mid 60s in Redland, 67 in Riverside, 69 for the city of San Bernardino and Joshua Tree looking at 81 degrees this morning. So yesterday we were telling you about heat advisories, excessive heat warnings. Well, some of those have been extended. So this heat advisory, what you see here in orange, that is in place for the mountains of Los Angeles, Ventura and Santa Barbara County. And the excessive heat warning is in effect for the Coachella Valley all the way through the deserts of San Diego County as temperatures this afternoon will be into the triple digits yet again today. Also, we did mention that dense fog advisory that is in effect until 8 o'clock this morning for the Orange County Coast all the way down through San Diego County as we have visibility down to a quarter of a mile or less. So something to be aware of if you are hopping into the car soon. Temperatures this afternoon, not as hot as what we felt yesterday, but still very hot inland. We're talking 90s, another round of triple digits for Lancaster, Victorville, Santa Clarita, 100 this afternoon, 101 in San Bernardino. I have a feeling the coast is going to be a pretty popular place this afternoon as temperatures along the coast in the upper 70s to even lower 80s. So the reason why we are feeling the hot temperature is this big H, this uh, ridge of high pressure. This has been hanging out with us for the past few days, but this high will lose its grip and we'll start to feel some cooler temperatures as we head into the start of the week, but more significant by Wednesday, Thursday into Friday as temperatures dip below average. So it's going to feel nice, especially if you don't love the heat. We have some cooling here in the extended forecast. Upper 80s this afternoon downtown that turns into lower 80s by Monday into Tuesday and then knocking it down to the 70s Wednesday. Thursday, continuing Friday into Saturday, triple digits for the Inland Empire and the high desert this afternoon. And then again, slowly starting to cool things off to start the week and then more significant cooling by Wednesday into the end of the week. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Alex.